All right, what is going on everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Q&A Saturday where I take your comments, your questions, and give my opinions or answer them as best as I can. I always absolutely love doing these. I look forward to this every single week. There might be some weeks where I don't do it just because, you know, maybe a new character comes out. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, but I always really enjoy doing these Q&A videos. So if you guys enjoy watching them, leave a like rating on the video. It's always appreciated. So here we go. I'm going to try to get through as many comments, questions as I can. If you have your own question, leave it down below. I always pick out a couple from every single Q&A, put it in the, uh, you know, in the question backlog that i have and then try to answer as many as i can so first two questions are not really from a specific person it's just general questions that i've been getting asked all right question number one um do you think putting these mk characters in injustice 2 is you know nrs testing the playstyle for sub-zero and raiden to be in mortal kombat 11 and that actually came to my head, uh, to be honest, but I don't think that's going to be the case because I, well, we haven't seen Raiden's gameplay yet, but I'm assuming he's going to play similar to the way his Mortal Kombat X counterpart played. Um, so he's going to get the same play style as, you know, for example, Thunder God Raiden, or more, more specifically, I think he's going to play like Displacer Raiden, which has the teleport. Um, but who knows if he has a, a lot of different things via his gear abilities, um, you know, maybe it's a way for Netherrealm to, uh, you know, experiment in this game what might be coming for Raiden and Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 11, you know, because it, it should be in development already if Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be coming in 2019 um it's definitely in development already so you know sub-zero and Raiden might be some of the earliest characters that they're working on and being an injustice might be you know a little way for them to test out some things that might work and might not work for mk11 not saying that's the case i'm just saying it's definitely a possibility so um that's question number one. Second question here is not really one that i want that i got answered or that i got asked is it's more so a theory of mine and call me absolutely crazy i will believe you if you call me crazy on this speculation all right so one of the biggest controversies about fighter pack number two is the fact that hellboy was smoking a cigarette and hellboy is iconically known for smoking cigars now there's a huge difference between cigars and cigarettes um, you know, even, um, you know, Ron Perlman, who played Hellboy, you know, famously portrayed Hellboy in live action. You know, he's he's a big fan of cigars. And he even came out saying that his favorite cigars to smoke while he was shooting Hellboy is cigars from Nicaragua. And of course, we have Cuban cigars, which are probably the most popular you know, as far as like common knowledge, Cuban cigars, you hear that everywhere. Um, so what I was thinking, and like I said, you call me crazy if you want, I wouldn't uh, take offense to it on this theory. But what about since we couldn't really get more silhouette teases in this trailer, like we did in combat pack or fighter pack number one, where we got the silhouette teases of the other DLC characters, since that couldn't happen in this trailer. What about if Hellboy smoking a cigarette instead of his iconic cigar was a little tease for Constantine because Constantine is known for smoking cigarettes and that's all he smokes he doesn't smoke cigars or anything like that he smokes cigarettes and since you know like I mentioned there couldn't be any more like silhouette teases this might have been a little hint as it, it would actually be a perfect perfect little hint that would go in very subtly and no one is talking about this. This is my personal, you know, theory that I came up with uh, yesterday when I was just watching the trailer all over again. I'm like, you know, Hellboy is uh, known for smoking cigars, so they know this. They when when they put a character in the game, they do heavily, heavily research this character. They do heavily research the characters. So I don't understand why he would have a cigarette in the trailer if it's not something to you know something more like something extra so him having you know uh, hellboy catching the rocket and lighting his cigarette um might be a little hint 
to Constantine, who is known for smoking, you know, cigarettes. Like I said, you guys can call me crazy, I'll understand, but it's something that would be awesome, right? Wouldn't it be so cool for them to have that subtle hint that really no one is talking about? Of course, people are talking about the fact that Hellboy is known for smoking a cigar, and why is he holding a cigarette? But I'm the one that came up with this theory of like, maybe this is a little hint at Constantine being in fighter pack number three. Now that would be fucking amazing, wouldn't it? I think all of us could agree that having Constantine in Injustice 2 would be absolutely amazing. And if you guys do remember, I made a video about it, um, talking about it. Constantine was in the same poll as Black Manta and Starfire for, you know, quote unquote, a what if scenario where Ed Boon asked the fans, who do you want to see in Injustice 2? And so far, two out of those three characters have come true. The only one that hasn't is Constantine, who would be perfect for fighter pack number three. Just a theory I'm throwing out there. You guys can call me crazy if you want, but why would they put a cigarette in the trailer if it wasn't maybe hinting at something else when we all know that Hellboy smokes cigars? Just throwing it out there. All right, let me know what you guys think about it. All right, let's get into the actual questions here. Robin asks, if Dr. Manhattan had, uh, was a character in Justice 2, what would be his gear? Well, Robin, um, we could have different bulge sizes. Um, we could have, of course, different colors for shaders. He would look pretty cool, actually, with different colors for shaders. Um, he could have different underwear, you know, maybe have one be a thong. You could see those, uh, you know, those glutes. That could be his gear. No, but realistically, uh, the gear system is the biggest reason why I see Dr. Manhattan not making it in this game. Like, realistically, what the hell can you do with, with uh, you know, a guy who's naked, right? He's naked. And if it wasn't for him being in the movies and the movies, you know, not wanting to show his dick, he he would have been naked or he was naked for the majority of the movie. But then he he put some underwear on. Um, but Dr. Manhattan is a naked character. He, he gives no fucks. He's just there letting it all hang out. So what the hell could they do for his gear system? So that that would be like the biggest reason why I don't see him making it in the game. All right. Um, Dejus Johnson. Which are your top five favorite fighting games of all time? Damn, that is actually a very hard question because there's been so many awesome fighting games that I've played over the years. Um, but I'll give you guys my top five right off the top of my head. So number one, my favorite fighting game of all time is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is a fighting game that really made me fall in love with fighting games. Um, so Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 was sort of my introduction and I fell in love with the Mortal Kombat franchise but not really with other fighting games so much um, but Marvel's Capcom 2 really like made me start falling in love with just all these different characters from the Marvel franchise so I was already a huge fan of the X-Men animated series but then I fell in love with uh, you know some other characters that might not have been in the X-Men animated series. Like, I fell in love with, like, War Machine. I thought he was, like, the coolest. I thought he was way cooler than Iron Man. Um, you know, Hulk and all these different characters that weren't from the X-Men series. I really started falling in love with them with Marvel's Capcom 2. Plus, the game is just, the roster is the best ever out of any fighting game. And uh, the, the play style is so much fun. So, Marvel's Capcom 2 will always probably be my favorite fighting game ever. Number two, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Now, it's it's a toss-up between UMK3 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy, but they're pretty much the same game, just that Mortal Kombat Trilogy has more characters. Um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy has, um, you know, all the boss characters. It has Noob Saibot. It has Rain as playable character. It has all these different things that they added from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 with the same playstyle. Mortal Kombat Trilogy is actually the, the Mortal Kombat that I own, back in the ps1 days that's the one that i really played a lot on my home console so mk trilogy number two mortal kombat x number three because uh it's what started my you know quote unquote youtube career um i plus the game is just amazing it's so much fun they have predator in there who is just hunter predator like seriously if you guys have never played hunter predator please do yourself a favor and play him he is one of the most fun characters I've ever played in any fighting game. They have, you know, uh, a lot of... They have Tribor. They have three, actually four, with Cyber Sub-Zero. Classic, you know, robots in one character. It's just... Mortal Kombat X is 
just amazing. Like, I can't say enough good things about Mortal Kombat X, or Mortal Kombat XL, whatever you want to call it. Um, plus, you know, of course, it launched my quote unquote YouTube career. Still have fun making videos. Now, even going back to play Mortal Kombat X, that's how good it is. Came out like two and a half years ago or two years ago. Uh, number four, this one's not like, I guess it is a fighting game, but not like it wouldn't be looked at as a big fighting game, I guess. But it is uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Uh, I know a lot of people like Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Um, but Budokai 3 is the one that I played on my PS2. Um, it was mind-blowing for this young kid playing playing the game that had Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku, Vegeta. They had Omega Shinron in there. They had all these GT characters. They just had like an incredible roster. And that's what I remember. They had Broly, of course. Um, so number four, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. And number five is Street Fighter 2 Super Turbo. Now, this is a game that I never really played too much. But for some reason, like just the classic aspect of this game, I really like seeing people play this game at a high level because the combos are so hard to do. They do so much damage. I don't know. I just really like watching Super Turbo. So that would be my number five. Moving on here, Mysterious Ass. What do you like about Injustice 2 over Injustice Gods Among Us? The number one thing that I like the most about Injustice 2 over the first game is the movements. The, the walk speed, the dash speed, just the jump arc, the jump speed. Everything about Injustice 2 is so much faster and has such a better pace than the first Injustice game. Sometimes in Injustice 1, you felt like you were, you were on you know quicksand. You were like not moving you were walking on mud or something like that you were so slow but this game flows very very well it has a great pace to it with the walk speed back dashes all that that's my number one uh praise about injustice 2 over the first injustice game it's just a lot more fun a lot uh quicker pace uh reverse as okay so you've probably already answered this but what is your most favorite outro in your opinion which one is the best well reverse uh, i think my favorite is either sub-zero because he rips he literally does a fatality on you or on the cameraman in his outro it's either that or red hoods which he you know sort of breaks the fourth wall and shoots at the camera lens and breaks the camera Th those two are like my my top two um i also like uh, black adams where he just screams out shazam and you know lightning bolt comes down i really like that so those are probably on my top three outros in Injustice 2. Leave leave it down in the comment section, which are your favorite. Um, Toby asks, would you like to have more Mortal Kombat characters? No, I would not. Uh, unless it's Aaron Black, which I would take all the hate in the world. If I would be the only person uh, who would be excited for Aaron Black, I would, I would take the, you know, like I said, if, if Aaron Black would be in Fighter Pack 3, I'll take the hate. I'll take the hate. I'll be really, really excited for it, my boy Aaron Black. But other than him, no, I don't want any other Mortal Kombat characters. Um, Koshinen asks, would you like to see a gag character in Injustice as DLC? Um, by gag character, I mean he, I, I, I think he means like funny. Um, I don't know really who gag characters would be. Um, a really funny character who would be great would be Booster Gold. I think his intros would be really, really funny. I've heard people compare him to someone like Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat, uh, the Mortal Kombat franchise. So if he's like that, that's, you know, uh, a really funny, witty character I would want to see in Injustice 2. Um, and let's see, let's answer one more quick one here. Um, let's see, not this one. Uh, all right, so Justin asks, who's your favorite DLC character so far and why? My favorite DLC character so far is Starfire because I just really enjoy seeing her animations on screen, her flashiness, her combos. She's very good, obviously, um, and I think she just looks amazing on screen. Um, not visually as far as like, obviously her character model is hot, you know, we can't avoid it. She looks great, right? But I'm talking about her animations, like her her star bolts, um, that specific move where she like spins around in circles with the lights, you know, it looks like she's part of a rave or something. Everything about her is just very flashy and fun to fun to execute and fun to watch. So 
that's why Starfire is my absolute favorite DLC character so far. But that's going to be the end of today's Q&A video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.